This is Pipe Essence, Maths teacher at Dagenham Park Church of England School. And today we are looking for the aim of the lesson today, multiplying fractions. So if you want to look for the multiplying fractions, first you should know if any mixed number, you should know how to convert to the improper fractions. So I'll explain to you just two questions, how we can convert the mixed number to the improper fraction. So let's say the first one, we'll see how we can do that. So first fraction we got, 3, 1 over 3. So 3, 1 over 3 is the mixed number. So that, that mixed number, we'll see how to convert to the improper fractions. So what we can do that here, you have to multiply these two numbers first. So that comes to 3 times 3 is come to 9. Then add 1 in the top. So that 3 times 3 is 9. Add 1, that's come to 10 over 3. So I'll repeat one more time. The 3, 1 over 3 is the mixed number. I have to convert to this one for to the improper fraction. So you multiply these two numbers first. That means 3 times 3 is comes to 9. Then add 1, 10 over 3. And we'll see the one more question. 4, 1 over 5. We'll see how to do that. First, you have to multiply these two numbers. So that comes to 5 times 4 is 20. Then add 1 on the top of that. So 5 times 4 20. Then plus 1 is come to 21. Then over 5. And also, that's the improper fraction. That's a heavy fractions. Heavy, something on the top is a heavy. So, that the top number, the top number is the bigger, the bottom numbers are smaller, and that we call that improper fraction, that's a heavy fraction. Heavy means something on the top is there, something on the top is a heavy. So, that fraction, you should know how to convert to the mixed number. How many fives in 21, four? 4 times 5 is 20, then what is the remainder is a 1, then over 5. That means 4, 1 over 5. Now we are looking for the multiplying fractions. When you're looking for the multiplying fractions, you have to make sure how to convert the any mixed number, convert to the improper fraction. Now, so for example, so now, let's say the first one, you got 9 over 14 times 7 over 15. I just want to say something about this multiplying fraction. How to make it easier? How to remember that when you do the multiplying fractions? You can just look in my two hands. So we got it, the fraction we got, numerator and the denominator. And here also you got the top and the bottom number. So first what we can do that, you have to simplify top, then bottom, then after the cross. So how to simplify these fractions? Top bottom then cross. So we'll see the top and the bottom number. You got 9 and 14. We can't simplify anything. 7 and over 15. We can't do simplify. So we've done the top and the bottom. Now after you're looking for the cross. So we're looking for the cross now. 7 and 14. Yes, you can simplify. Thus comes to how many 7s in 7? 1. How many 7s in 14? 2. 
Now looking for this one. When you do this one, 9 and 15. The 9, how many 3's in 9? 3. How many 3's in 15? 5. So what you left here, you got 3 over 2 times 1 over 5. That's equal to. Then once you finish it that, you have to multiply 3 times 1. It's come to 3 over 2 times 5 has come to 10. See how they make it easier. So the first point you should know, any multiplying fractions, if you got any mixed numbers, you must convert to the improper fraction. Once you've done that, looking for the dance. Top, bottom, then cross. Top, bottom, then cross. Then you can't do the top and the bottom, then you're looking for the cross one. And you have to make it easier. We'll see the next type of question. The next type of questions, let's say the second one. So the example is number two now. You got 15 over 20 times 8 over 9. So first you're looking for, are there any mixed number here? 15 over 20 is not a mixed number. 8 over 9 is not a mixed number. So then we are looking for the next one. So how to simplify? Look top, then bottom, then after the cross. Looking for the top and the bottom, you got the 15 and 20. Yes, 15 and 20 you can divide it by 5. So let's say... How many 5's in 15 is 3. How many 5's in 20 is 4. So we've done the top and the bottom. Looking for the next one. Top and the bottom. Are they can simplify anything? No. So we've done the top and the bottom. Now you're looking for the cross. When you do the cross, you've got 3 here, you've got a 9 here. Yes. How many 3's in 3? 1. How many 3's in 9? 3. Looking for this one. 4 and 8. How many 4's in 4? 1. How many 4's in 8? 2. So, what left here? 1 over 1 times 2 over 3. Then you multiply 1 times 2. It's come to 2. And then 1 times 3. It's come to 3. The answer is 2 over 3. We are looking for the one more. One more question with the mixed numbers. Let's say that numbers number three. The question, have a look. One six over nine times two five over twenty. So first, what we can do that? First, we have to do that. You got a mixed number. So I said very clearly, multiplying fractions, you have to focus on if any mixed number, you must convert to the improper fraction. That's the technique we are using for. Then first we're looking for 9 times 1 is 9. Then you have to add on the top. So the 9 times 1 is 9 plus 6, 15. Then over 9 times 20 times 2 is come to 40. At 5, it's come to 45 over 20. I will repeat again how we can convert to the mixed number to the improper fractions. 9 times 1 is 9. Then at 6 is 15 over 9 times 20 times 2 is 40. At 5 is 45 over 20. So we've done that part. Now we are looking for just our dancing part. After you convert, how to simplify? First you simplify top and then bottom number. Top, bottom, then after cross. So now we'll see. Can you simplify top, 
at the bottom number. 15 over 9. You can divide it by 3. How many 3's in 15? 5. How many 3's in 9? 3. So we've done that one. Moving on the next one. You can divide it by 5. How many 5's in 45 is 9? How many 5's in 20 is 4? So we've done that top and the bottom. Now you're looking for the cross. When you're looking for the cross, you got 5 and 4. You can't do anything. 3 and 9. Yes, you can divide it by 3. How many 3's in 3? Here, 1. How many 3's in 9 is 3? So what we got left here? You should know what number left. 5 over 1 times 3 over 4. Now you have to multiply that. 5 times 3 is come to 15. 1 times 4 is come to 4. Now 15 over 4 is a heavy number. Something the heavy on the top. Something on the top is a heavy. So 15 over 4. You have to convert to the mixed number. How we can do that? How many 4's in 15? 3. Then 3 times 4 is 12. 15 take away 12 is come to 3 remainder over 4. And make sure you have to double check your answer once you convert to that. Double check it. 4 times 3 is come to 12. Actually 15 over 4. See how they easier that multiplying fractions. Try these two questions. Okay then, try now. So that's your first question. So first you have to simplify. You have to make sure are there any mixed number. There's no any mixed number here. Then how we can simplify? You can simplify top, bottom and the cross. So you can see that. 11 over 20. Can divide by any numbers? No. Moving to the next one. 15 over 33. Yes, you can divide it by 3. How many 3's in 15? 5. How many 3's in 33 is 11? So we've done that top and the bottom part. The top and the bottom first you focus on. Then after you have to focus on the cross. See the cross one. 11 and 11 here. So if you want I can write it down again what we got it. So you got 11 over 20 times you got 5 over 11. Now you've done the bottom and top and the bottom, now you're looking for the cross. 11 and 11, yes, 1 and 1. How many 5's in 5? 1. How many 5's in 24? Then you got 1 over 4 times 1 over 1. That's equal to 1 times 1 is 1. Then 4 times 1 is 4. So that's your first question. Let's see the second question. The second question we got, 1, 2 over 3 times 6 over 25. What we can do this? That's your mixed number. First you have to convert to the improper fraction. How to do that? 3 times 1 is 3, add 2 is 5, then over 3 times 6 over 25. Now you have to simplify. How to simplify this? Top, bottom, then cross. 5 over 3. You can't simplify anything. 6 over 25. You can't do anything. Now you're looking for the cross. Looking for the cross one. How we can do that? 5. How many 5's in 5? 1. How many 5's in 25? 5. How many 3's in 3? 1. How many 3's in 6? 2. See how they easier. And that's equal to, you got 1 times 2 is come to 2 over 1 times 5 is come to 5. See how they're 
make it easier for the multiplying fractions. So when you do the multiplying fractions, first you have to do, if you got any mixed numbers, convert to the improper fractions. Then after, how to simplify, top, bottom, cross. Top, bottom, then cross. I think you enjoyed the multiplying fractions. for the factorizing B and A grade work.